Okay, welcome back. Today we're looking at this very nice formula that gives us the area of a triangle for any triangle. It doesn't have to be a right angle triangle. And essentially it's a half times A times B times sine of the angle C. And it's important when we're dealing with these letters that we use this convention where the side of length little a is opposite the angle of capital A. And this is the same for B and C. So we've got these opposite relationship here between the angle and the length. And one nice way to remember this formula is that if we have two lengths, A and B, these are the ones we're dealing with, then the angle that we need is actually the one between these two lengths. So C is the angle between the length A and B. And this is all the information you need to work out the area of a triangle. So in this video, we're gonna look at a couple examples using this formula and the next one, we're gonna prove it. So if we first just look at a fairly simple example, let's just look at this triangle and we're going to have all the numbers. We're just going to plug in the numbers of the formula. So if this length is 4.2 centimeters and this one down here is 6.9 centimeters, and if we're also given that this angle is 75 degrees, then what's the area of this triangle? Well, we've got all the information we need to use this formula. So if we just plug it in, we have that's the area equals a half times uh, A times B. And for this, we're labeling this side as A and this one as B, it actually doesn't matter which side you label, as long as you've got the angle between these two sides. So it's just four times two times 6.9, sorry, 4.2 times 6.9 times sine of the angle between them. So sine of 75 degrees. And if you plug that into a calculator, you're gonna get roughly 14.0 centimeters squared. So it's a really powerful formula because it's quite easy to use. So now we're gonna look at an example where instead of finding the area, we're given the area and we need to use this formula to find some other information about the triangle. So let me just wipe up the board. So for this example, we're dealing with this triangle. Doesn't matter too much what it looks like, but we're told this information. So this length is five centimeters. This one is six centimeters. And now this angle is X degrees. And this is something we don't know. So the problem is to work out what X is, given that the area, the area equals um, 12 centimeters squared. And this is something we can do because we've got all the information except one variable, so we can just plug it in and then rearrange. So if we do that, we have 12, which is the area. This equals a half times A times B, which is the length for the two sides. So five times six, and then times the sine of the angle between them, which is this one. And this is X, so this is what we don't know. So we can just rearrange for sine of x. So sine of x, if I bring uh, the two up here, two times 12, and I divide by five times six, then this simplifies to four over five. And so to find x, we just need to invert sine. So x is gonna be sine to the power of minus one, the inverse of sine of this stuff, of five over four. And if you plug that into a calculator, we're gonna get the angle is 53.1 degrees to one decimal place. So this is the missing angle. So this is just to get you familiar with using this formula. And in the next video, we're gonna prove why this is always true.